Today is Saturday, the 4th of December, and I have to cook this morning for my client. So first things first, I just want to tidy up the kitchen a little bit. The kids have made have had breakfast. See who is giving me my give me back and forth my son. So I need to first of all go to the floor. How is everybody doing? How are you doing today? I trust you woke up healthy. Trust you woke up safe. So yeah, so that's what I'm gonna be doing this morning. I need to make jello fries, ndule, and puff puff. Um, what else do I need to do? I think that's all I need to do. So yeah, I'll be taking you guys along to show you how I do my, how I prepare for my clients. So I think basically that's the vlog for today. I'm not going out. Okay, I also have to make the Christmas wreath with the boys. We went out yesterday to pick out some plants, some branches that I want to use. I want to have an idea of the wreath. Um, so we'll be doing that also today. And what else are we going to do? I think basically that's all. Yeah. Yeah. So I'll see you guys later. First, I want to make my coffee. You guys know I love to drink coffee. Yeah. So, I was thinking that today I'll go out to go and do my nails because <laughs> Oga wants me to be doing my nails. He says he loves them natural like that, but he wants me to just be having it colored or make nails that is a little bit longer. I'm not really a nail person like that. No disrespect, yeah, or not to say those who are doing it are. Uh, anyhow anyhow but it's just about your lifestyle me i've been a very busy person minus that busyness even since back home from cameroon this whole thing of makeup and doing nails whenever my thing and this is also from my mom because i live with my mom i never saw her doing makeup like that woman the only thing she would wear put on her lip sometimes is vaseline and go to church that's all and she was still always very beautiful so i learned to to live like that you know but as time goes on one changes <laughs> i started doing makeup around 2016 but you see this issue of nails i don't just have that thing i have tried it once and my fingers were behaving so strange as if they were not mine so i stopped in a relationship or when you're in a marriage and your partner says something that you know is not going to take away any aspect from you or cause you any pain or any harm sometimes just do it for them you know so yeah i'm gonna start doing my nails now because that's what he wants he loves it and i see nothing wrong with any sign that. and stone mm -hmm. You know, he was really a, a gentle, lovable request. The first time I said, I, I beg, I'll not be able, I'll not go fit, you know. And then he said it again another time when we're having a conversation. I'm like, okay, I have heard you. You know, sometimes paying attention to what your partner says, when they repeat it over and over, it means it's something that they really want or it's something that is really disturbing them in the case of a complaint so what we need to do is just to say okay i've heard you i'm going to see how to to do that so yeah i was thinking of going out today to do my nails i leave him at home with the boys but when this client called me last night to cook so my saturday is going to be Practically I indoors, and I think I will do that so, new issue on Monday yeah, look at this. or on oh Tuesday. My God. Look at this goodness! Look at this goodness! So right now, I'm just steaming some chicken and beef for the jollof rice. And the is ready there. I just tidied up a bit. I want to clean whatever I see, here, guys, because I don't like to be cooking and. There are things around so as i cook i clean i cook i clean 
because I always like to have space and good space. So while I'm cleaning these ones left here and the chicken is cooking, I'll be sipping my coffee. Mm. This tastes so yummy. I added some cinnamon in it. So there was something lacking, like I told you guys yesterday, that this order was an emergency order. It was late night order. So I didn't have some ingredients for the jello fries. The bit has helped me to go to, go to the shop to get the stuff. So before this meat is ready, he will certainly be back. If you have not watched my jello fries recipe, you can check my cooking channel, the Afro Flavor. I decided to move um, my cooking channel right there because, like I told you, um, it's now a business, a registered business. So I just want a platform for it. So that's why I took it there. So you can check my fried rice, my jollof rice recipe there. I'll put it also in the comment section. If you're thinking of making jollof rice this Christmas for your family, you will love that recipe. Like all my clients that order jollof the rice, they're always like, wow, this is so yummy and different, you know. And it's jollof rice. <laughs> it's my recipe. I tried it, it worked, and I got stuck to it. It has a Cameroonian touch to it anyways, but I just made it like that my way. I never saw anyone doing like that. So I don't even know if that people will make their jello fries like that. But. So it's time for the puff puff and can see how it has double, in fact triple in size. <laughs> now it's time to fry, fry, fry. So I'm going to be using this. I bought it for my cooking channel because I want to be making some kind of cooking video. So I got this from Big Bazaar. It was 20% off, I think. It's 200 worth. So I'm going to use it today for the puff puff. So wish me luck, guys. Let's do the unboxing together. That's the puff puff guys, it tastes yummy, looks yummy, super super yummy. So guys, I'm done, not done done, I'm going to rest. The um, first order has been picked up, I have to make a roll, but that arrow needs to be picked up at 8pm, so I'm just going to rest now a bit. The kids are eating as well. I've tidied up the kitchen, so I'm just going to sit down now and relax like for 30 minutes. So I'll just wait for my clients' feedback. I always wait for my clients' feedback, even when I taste the food and the food is okay, everything is okay. Yeah, but the puff puff was not okay because I underestimated the flour mixture. So I had to give me a discount on that because the quantity wasn't. Hey February, so now it's almost um, 5 p.m. I've rested a bit. I've rested a bit. I didn't sleep, but I sent the kids to go and sleep after they had their lunch. So right now, I want to start preparing the air for my client. He will pick it up at 8 o'clock. So I want to start by boiling the kanda and the beef. I already took it out of the freezer. So I have it here. So. When I do my shopping for my business, I always pack them in little, little bags like this. I wash them, I pack them. I don't boil them, I pack them raw. I just clean them very well and I put them in the tin freezer, the freezer that is meant for business. This one. So I'm just like, let me boil the, the start boiling the kanda. Kanda is what Nigerians call pomo, and, uh, or you can call it cow skin and the beef. So, and then I'll fix the dry fish, I'll fix the water leaf, I'll blend the crayfish. I already have a recipe on how to prepare a roux. I'll leave it in the comment section below. If you're thinking of having that as one of your Christmas meal, I'll leave it in the comment section. So, thank you for spending time with me. And just to say a quick thing, yeah, um, 
you know we come from a society where they believe that you need to go to school before you get up and get the job get out get a job and then get married you can actually do a lot financially you can there are so many jobs that you can do from your home especially for us mothers that um we do not really have time like that you know there are so many things you can do for you from the comfort of your home as a job as a business just think about that thing that you think you're gifted in and just do it because the most amazing thing about this business for me is that it doesn't stress me because it's something i love to do i can cook all the i won't say oh my god i'm tired but maybe cleaning i can clean but you see i'll always complain i'm tired but cooking is therapeutic to me and it's just okay that i can turn this into a business today alone i've made so much money that if you have to go to work for a regular european or belgian job that should be you should be able to work like two and a half days to be able to make that money you know if you are working eight hour a day block on sunday sunday i'm just gonna rest with the family and have some family time so i'll see you in my next video stay blessed with the peace of god that surpasses every understanding be with you and your family now and forever 